The world is changing. Technology is evolving. The singularity cometh. The robot revolution is on its way. I hope that you're ready. These are amazing robots that will change the world. Number 20. Batbot. When Batman needs to get the job done, he makes a suit that can take on the foe at hand. Even when it means fighting gods like the Hellbat suit. Building a robot that emulates a bat, though, was at one time a major hurdle for robotics engineers. Because the movements that bats use to fly are much more complex than that of birds or certain insects. Thankfully, though, a team would be able to get it done after some serious trial and error. The design helps them to build a safer and more efficient flying robot, and it also gives them more insight into the way that bats fly. Now, it may seem a little odd at first, as we already know how to make flying robots, as we've made drones that can fly at high speeds, but the vision that the creator of the robot has goes much well past that, saying that they want to make more animalistic robots that can do certain things. Bats are highly studied animals. Having a robot that can emulate what they can do can advance scientific study, which is a big desire in that field. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Asimo. Now, if you want further proof of how good we're getting at making these robots, you need only to look at the robot that's known as Asimo. Unlike many others that are out there, this one's meant to be very human-like, which includes walking on two legs. But it's much more than just having the proper body. It's also one that has an intelligence to it that can be both incredibly impressive and potentially dangerous. But why do I say that? Well, that's because a SEMO was designed to be able to read the emotional expressions of humans. It can read a situation and then react to it in a way that feels correct. Just as important, and perhaps terrifying, is that it has a range of motion that most robots don't have, which includes being able to dance for a crowd, because that's just exactly what we need. Dancing robots. Now, on a certain level, a SEMO is proof that robots can be simple and friendly, like certain movies want us to believe will happen. Oh, those fools. And it's interesting that we've gotten so advanced that something like a SEMO can read people's emotions. But what happens if we let it react in ways that aren't exactly constructive? That's a question that many are going to have to ask themselves as we all push forward toward the next generations of a SEMO or whatever other robot appears. Number 18. Robear. Now you're just pushing your luck. I mean, making a robotic bear? What could possibly ever go wrong with that? To be fair, though, the bear is honestly one that Japan is not implementing in their own way. It's proving to be something that we can appreciate on a wholesome level. Because the robot known as Robear isn't just a bear-shaped robot in certain ways, it's literally programmed to help people in need, specifically the elderly. Because while it is a bear, it has the shape of a human in certain aspects and is able to lift, carry, and place elderly people in places like a hospital so that they can sit in a wheelchair or be put back into bed without needing help from a nurse. Chances are that this robot's going to lead to advances in nursing care, relieving the burden on caregivers today, and according to Toshiharu Mukai, the research team behind the project intends to continue with it until more practical robots capable of providing powerful yet gentle care to elderly people can be achieved. Now you may be thinking, but a bear can't fully replicate what a nurse can do, and that's not what the intention really is here. But especially nowadays, there are hospitals that have way too many patients and not enough staff to take care of them. So having these robots to help with certain tasks, like moving them around, can potentially make things better by allowing the nurses to be in more critical places. Number 17. Robo Kitchen 
Between television shows, movies, cartoons, and especially anime, it's been referenced in Disney movies like Smart House, or a certain episode of The Simpsons, and so on, but while the AI part might still be out of reach, for now, the idea of your home taking care of everything isn't too far off especially in regards to the kitchen. In the UK, they made a kitchen that's run by a robot, featuring an advanced, fully functional robot integrated into a beautifully designed professional kitchen. It cooks with the skill and flair of a master chef. Now, to be clear, we're not talking about a typical robot in terms of having a body and such, but rather about one that uses a pair of mechanical arms to take care of everything. It took the team behind the project 18 years to create, but the results were a set of robot arms that can replicate everything that a set of human hands can do in the kitchen. The kitchen is operated by a touchscreen or remotely via a smartphone. When not in use, the robotic arms retract from view. The kitchen can then be used in the normal way. If replicated on a grand scale, it could drastically change how things are done in the human home, and this is a robot that many might honestly want in theirs in order to help them save time and energy. Number 16. Eel Loom now, when you hear the name eel loom, you might not know what to picture because it doesn't really sound like a real word. Thankfully, it's pretty easy to describe, though. It's an underwater snake robot, one that has functions that will be useful to a lot of people. According to its creators, Eel Loom is a disruptive technology for subsea inspection, maintenance, and repair, and the vehicles are basically self-propelled robotic arms whose slender and flexible body can transit over long distances, carrying out IMR in confined spaces that are not typically accessible by conventional underwater vehicles. In other words, it can be a recon and repair robot that doesn't need to be controlled like certain other robots do. And it's also also able to handle jobs without requiring human intervention. The other thing that makes this appealing is that it's a modular robot that can be altered in order to suit certain needs in the field, and it's also very cost efficient. And that makes it a robot that all sorts of businesses would want. While it's easy to fear certain robots that I've shown you before, and for good reason, the e Loom is one that you can very easily see the potential in because this isn't about trying to take over the roles of humans, it's about doing things for humans in an easier and more efficient way in which humans would struggle to match. This is a robot that could help a lot of people, and it's a true wonder of engineering. Number 15. Robot Hummingbird Stepping away from the help everyone feature of robots, we now go back to the notion of them being used to do things in the field of battle, or in this case, the spycraft field. Oh yes, the idea of robots conducting espionage on enemies to get valuable information is not a new concept, but doing it in a meaningful and efficient way is actually harder than it looks. When you hear that DARPA paid $4 million to have a team make a robotic hummingbird, you may not be all that impressed at first, but to be clear, it's a real thing. It has a camera affixed to a featherweight 6.5-inch body that flies by flapping its wings, just like the bird that it's named after. The Nano Hummingbird can fly just 11 miles per hour and stay in the air for only 8 to 11 minutes, so it's not exactly the best spy machine ever, but it is able to do things that people can't, and that's what's important. For example, in one of its more low-key spy missions, it spied on some butterflies and was able to capture beautiful footage of them that no human would be able to get up close. So that's government money well spent. Furthermore, if used properly in the field of battle, it could spy on enemies who would only see a bird flying in from afar and never have an inkling that it's actually spying on them with a camera. Number 14. Robotic Cockroach now, it's not surprising that so many people are interested in making robots based off of animals and creatures, mainly because we can very easily study animal biology and how they work mechanically and then replicate that in a robot. 
Plus, by making the right kind of animal robot, you can do things that humans can't do. And that brings us to the cockroach robot. Yes, the bane of many people's homes, the cockroach is something that just won't die. Even a nuclear bomb can't kill these things more times than not, but it would be worth it to see it burn at least once. And that's why some scientists are so eager to make a robot cockroach. But why? Well, that's because of what cockroaches can do in small spaces. They squeeze their bodies to get through cracks and thus penetrate almost any structure. The robot version of the bug can do that as well. But why is it important? Well, simply put, search and rescue operations. At times, firefighters and police and emergency personnel can't check certain homes that have collapsed because there's no way of knowing if they're occupied. By using this little robot, it can squeeze through the crevices to check to see if anyone's there. As you can see, it's a brilliant idea with a ton of potential, as it can actually save lives. However, it's not going to stop me from hating cockroaches anytime soon. Number 13. Wars with Robots now you'd think that after all the Terminator movies, the TV show, the comics, and the video games, that we would realize that the one thing we absolutely shouldn't do is bring robots of any kind into the field of combat. Well, some people just don't learn so easily. Because especially in recent years, humans have done a lot in terms of integrating certain kinds of robotic technology into their combat arsenal. You already know of one of the big ones via the UAV drones. These are highly specialized drones that can recon an area, go on flight paths without a pilot to guide it, and when asked to, can rain fire down from above. But now we're getting more diverse with what these robots can do. Some are used to search roads for bombs so that people and dogs won't be hurt, and you can see the appeal in that. However, there are also some robots being built to do recon and have a weapon to shoot at the enemy. As if that wasn't enough, we're trying to make soldiers a bit more robotic via powerful exoskeleton suits, which can allow them to fight harder and longer without putting as much stress on their bodies. Now sure, having robots that can take the place of humans could be better on a certain level, but the stronger and smarter that we make them, the closer we get to Terminators and Skynet taking over. Number 12. Many Different Spots Remember when I talked about how animals were perfect guides to make robots? Well, meet one of the most popular ones around, Spot. And yes, it's modeled after a dog. Spot is the quadruped robot that climbs stairs and traverses rough terrain with unprecedented ease, yet it's small enough to use indoors. But why would you want something like Spot? Well, it was built to carry a heavy load and thus allows it to move around an area in tow and then go and do what you need with the materials without having to constantly put them up and down. You can even program Spot to do various things as you use it, and because of its sensors, you won't have to worry about it falling over because it's adaptable and able to avoid things that could hurt it. There are versions of Spot as well, which include ones that are smaller in size and also those that can be used for certain tasks. There's also one that has a very long neck like a dinosaur that can grab things with its mouth and put them down somewhere else. So yes, it's a very dog-like robot. I'm sure nothing could go wrong with that. Not surprisingly, the Spot has a military counterpart that can help military transport goods without tiring out the soldiers. Sometimes it's just the little things that can make such a large difference. Number 11. Bionicopter and on we go with the unique animal robots. This time though, we head to the bug realm once again, but with one that can fly, a dragonfly. Meet the Bionic Opter. This is a mini robot that's able to mimic what a dragonfly can do in terms of flight, and it's not a small feat, as dragonflies are another creature out there who have a complex flight pattern, and thus it's not easy to replicate. However, the team at Festo were actually able to do it. Just like its model in nature, this ultra-flight flying object can fly in all directions, hover in midair, and glide without beating its wings. 
This unique way of flying is made possible by the lightweight construction and the integration of functions, such as components like sensors, actuators, and mechanical components as well, all open and closed loop control systems that are installed in a very tight space and adapted to one another. The Bionic Opter is able to be controlled with incredible precision and obtain all sorts of maneuvers in the air. That's very impressive for a robot that's so small and thus can be used in ways that many others can only dare to dream. However, if a swarm of these things begins rushing us, we're out of here. Number 10. Aqua Jelly now, if you want a really curious choice in terms of a robot being created, you need to stick with Festo, as they didn't just make a dragonfly robot, they also made one that is a jellyfish. That's right, they made the Aqua Jelly, a robot that could look like a jellyfish and reside in the waters of the world while still being controlled from the surface. Festo presented the Aqua Jellies for the first time at the Hanover Fair in 2008, and since then, developers have been constantly working on improved conditions and communications technology, along with monitoring of the individual jellyfish on a smartphone. An app can be used to individually record and track the current condition of each Aqua Jelly. Now this might be one of the most important animal robots out there for a very basic reason. Observing and recording things in the oceans and seas of the world is very hard. Typically because, well, these things look like robots. But the aqua jelly actually looks like a jellyfish and thus can likely go and put other animals and entities at ease as it floats around and records things in the ocean. And if you have enough of these, you could record things with such ease that it makes mapping out the oceans all that much more simple. Number 9. Sophia Well, we all know what you've been waiting for. It's time to talk about a human robot. Terminators, here we come. Thankfully though, the robot known as Sophia is not like that, at least to my knowledge. And it was though a powerful example of how far robotics technology could become that we went and made a robot that could do so much and act very much like a human. Cameras within Sophia's eyes combined with computer algorithms allow her to see. She can follow faces, sustain eye contact, and even recognize individuals. She's also able to process speech and have conversations using a natural language language subsystem, which if I'm being honest, is just a little bit freaky. Hello, Jimmy. Oh my God. Sure, it's a technological leap, but the fact that she can follow you around and talk with you without having certain programming telling her what to say, that's a whole lot. Oh, but it does get better or worse, depending on how you look at it, because in 2018, just two years after being activated, she was able to get legs and actually learned how to walk. Not just that, but because of how advanced her sensors and cameras are, she can actually mimic over 60 different facial expressions. That's more than most teenagers. Truly, the end of days has to be upon us. Number eight, Robo Han. When it comes to Japan, they really do know how to take things to levels that most people wouldn't feel were necessary or even logical, but they also have a tendency to make things overtly adorable to try and make people feel more at ease. Then comes the case with the Robo Han. This is a robot that's also a cell phone. It's a true robot cell phone. Along with basic phone functions, he also supports LTE and certain networks that are in Japan, So you'll find email and other online services like cloud access built into the device. Furthermore, like any good robot, thankfully that's too small to kill anyone at the present model level, it's able to learn from its user and help them with a variety of tasks beyond just being a phone. You need something like this in your life? Well, probably not, but if you were to get something like this in your life, it probably wouldn't make you feel all that bad, at least for a short time. And you just have to admit, it is rather adorable. Number 7. Robo Simeon one of the reasons that people like to keep making robots in a variety of ways is that they're meant to be used to do things the average person can't. Say by traversing terrain that humans would find difficult. That's when we bring in the Robo Simeon, 
highly advanced robot that was built in response to a DARPA challenge to be able to be used in disaster areas to fulfill tasks that humans would struggle with at the time. The Robo Simeon went up against 22 other robots in a particular challenge and beat all but four of them, and as the team noted, they couldn't have expected much more from it. The team was very proud of the performance of the bot in such challenging circumstances, and they had never seen it fall once and never had to reset it, which confirmed how versatile and dependable it really was. Beyond responding to disasters, the goal for the Robo Simeon and future robots of its kind is to use the same limb technology to extend humanity's reach. And if these robots can actually help humanity, then it's worth everything to do it, isn't it? Number 6. Parker Now we'll take a look at another take on doing things better than humans with a robot by the name of Parker. What this one is capable of doing though? Well, how about patrolling an area non-stop for 24 hours? That's right, Parker is a security robot and one that's being currently used in Phoenix, Arizona, believe it or not, to patrol malls and train stations. Parker is a fun addition to Park Central, but with a serious purpose. They're always looking for ways to innovate their properties, and that includes making sure that they're as safe and secure as possible. Parker helps out with achieving that goal by providing a modern and automated resource in order to augment the security team. The robot has cameras which allows it to relay things that it finds to the on-site security, and then when it finds a bad guy, it pulls out its ray gun and shouts exterminate. No, not really, but could you imagine if it did? Seriously though, the security robots are likely going to be very popular over time, so don't be shocked if you end up seeing one in your area. Number 5. Casper And back to human robots we go, or in this case, a robot toddler by the name of Casper. Before you go off the deep end about people potentially adopting robot children, you have to wait until the end because Casper was actually developed to help children, specifically children with autism or other mental conditions like it. You see, when children have conditions like autism, they have difficulty with things like reading expressions, and that could make it difficult for them to communicate with others. Casper is there not just to help them read expressions by mimicking them itself, but also to build up the confidence of a young child so that it won't be afraid to communicate with others out of fear. These are the stories that that make you hopeful that Judgment Day actually won't happen because if we can keep on making robots like these, there may just be hope for everyone. Granted, it's not a cure for anything by any means, but even if it does help these children just a little bit, it's well worth the cost. Number 4. Yumi Another example of a robot who is meant to work in a collaborative manner with people, even its name is a giveaway to what it's meant to be called, you, me, as in you and me. This dual arm ABB robot is ideal for small parts assembly and is extremely safe and very accurate. And if you need it to stop doing something for any reason, then just a small touch makes it cease every action. On top of what it can do, it's very advanced in all of the devices that it can work with and plug into, which includes being able to be used alongside your phone or tablet or various other devices that have the appropriate parts. Because of the sensors it has, many feel that this would be worth putting into healthcare as it has the ability to maneuver around people and objects to help people in times of need. And as I've noted before, Having a robot like this to work alongside nurses and doctors could greatly increase and help the field of medicine. Number 3. Snake Robot Part 2 Previously I showed you a robot that was like a snake and would be able to tackle all kinds of missions underwater, but now I'll show you a cool snake robot that's perfectly suited to do things on land, which includes climbing a tree. 
Furthermore, this is a robot that's been field tested in its own way to be used in a disaster scenario. A team of roboticists from a university would help the Mexican Red Cross to search collapsed buildings for survivors after the 7.1 magnitude earthquake that struck Mexico City. The snake design provides a small diameter and the ability to move in almost any direction, which makes the robot ideal for accessing tight spaces. Though the team was unable to locate any survivors, the test itself was a success. Because as noted earlier, sometimes people can't reach certain spots or will move on from overtly collapsed areas because they don't feel that anyone could have survived underneath all that rubble. The snake robot, however, can go and slither tight spaces to see if anyone needs saving. Plus, as mentioned, it can also climb a tree. So that's pretty cool, right? Number 2. Bionic Cants now this one's going to maybe creep you out on some level, because if you were to hear that someone, in this case our friends at Festo, made a robotic ant, you wouldn't be all that surprised, especially given that animal robots we've already shown you are varied in their different means. But if I told you that they then made a swarm of these ant robots and that they're able to communicate with each other in order to get things done, that's a completely different story now, isn't it? A self-aware colony of ants? Well, it is true. Festo was able not only to make ant robots, but they made them capable of communication with one another like a true colony. The artificial ants thus demonstrate how autonomous individual components can solve a complex task together, working as an overall networked system. And if you can do this with small robot, like the ones that are ants, you can obviously get bigger and tougher robots to work together as well. You know, like the Terminators. Number 1. Reem C Now we'll end on another humanoid robot. Reem C was a major bipedal robot that was revealed to the world as one that they could honestly purchase and use in their service if they wanted to. Reem C is the result of several years of research and development on humanoid robots, and besides the fact that the current model can perform in a variety of research fields, it's also modular. That modularity makes it an excellent robot technological platform because it can be upgraded with improved or custom devices and from which a variety of other robots can be developed. It's not a perfect robot as its battery is said to only last about two hours, however it is truly autonomous and one that many feel could be the predecessor to many major robots to come. What did you think of the robots that exist today that can truly change how life is? Do you think we're indeed close to the world of the Terminator? Or will we never get close to Judgment Day? Let me know all about it in the comments below. Also be sure to check out the other cool stuff showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.